In order to perform titrations, we need a glassware, which is called burette. This is a burette. Uh, it has a well, which has two positions. One is this cross, so this means it's closed. Or I can turn this in this position, which align with the burette. This is an open position. OK, when we put sodium hydroxide inside, we have to make sure you have this well in the closed position. Before we fill this burette with a sodium hydroxide solution, we want to rinse this burette with sodium hydroxide solution three times. The reason we want to do the rinse is if the inside is wet, which is most likely to happen after you clean the burette, and after three times of rinse, then the solution you finally add it to the burette will be exactly the same molarity as what you prepared in this beaker. Make sure uh, this well is in the closed position. Every time when you rinse, you use 5 to 10 milliliters of sodium hy hydroxide solution. OK, whenever you rinse, you want to make this flat. And this end is on top of the waste bucket. And make sure, make sure your solution is wetting everywhere for the inside of this burette. After this burette is rinsed with sodium hydroxide solution three times, now we can fill this burette with the sodium hydroxide solution. Then let's clamp this burette on the uh, stand. When you do experiment, you want to make yourself comfortable. You do not want to do experiment to do titration like this. So let's try to move them around so uh, I will feel most comfortable. And also, I want to stay away from the other part. If something happens, I don't want to knock them down. At this position, I feel most comfortable. And then we have to make sure there's no bubble in this part. Let's say if you can see the bubble. Let the bubble run, come out. After you get rid of the bubble, what you want to do is make sure the meniscus is aligned with the zero milliliter on top. 